if you're using the standard video embed element in uh, responsive site designer foundation framer or bootstrap builder you will get the the standard video elements on youtube videos and this includes the title overlay which may not be desirable especially if you especially if you already have the title in uh, a video thumbnail or if it's in the beginning of the video and the other thing which i find pretty undesirable is when the video is done playing you get the grid of recommended videos which usually have nothing whatsoever to do with the video that you're watching so if that's on a site and you're embedding that youtube video you probably don't want those things to show up or at least have the option to turn them off so um I've uh, been using these two different sites to help me uh, remedy this and give you some other options um, to uh, mo help modify these YouTube embeds. Um, so the first site is vtubetools.com and this site actually lets you adjust a whole bunch of settings on the embedded YouTube video. Um, you could adjust the, the start time, you could uh, change the theme. Uh, the main ones that I'm usually interested in is the show title. So if you turn that off, the embed won't have that overlaid title and then if you go down a little bit the display related videos option if you turn that off also when the video is done playing it won't show you the grid of recommended videos at the end of the um, when the video is playing so there are a few other options um, uh, you can actually change the color of the progress bar so um, right now or the default is is red and as the video is playing you get the red progress bar um, but that may kind of uh, conflict with the color scheme of the website that you're using so you could actually change that to white which might be a little bit more neutral so I'm gonna leave those settings there all you have to do is paste in the YouTube URL for the video and click the get code button and that will give you um, some code um, and we're gonna be end up we're going to use, be using some of the code from this and pasting it into another site. So um, we'll leave this up for a second. And the next site that we're going to use is embedresponsively.com. And I'll put both of those links into um, the show notes. So again, you paste in the YouTube URL, hit the embed button, and uh, it gives you um, some other code. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of combine these uh, two um, generated code part portions that these sites gave us. So on the vtubetools.com, if you go to the right side, um, at the end of the allow full screen, right before the iframe element, we're going to select the end of the allow full screen and go all the way to the end of the URL code. So basically select from the question mark all the way to the end of the allow full screen. And we're just going to copy that code right there. And we're going to go back to the embed responsively and um, select this code, which is what we're going to replace. So again, select at the end of the allow full screen and go right up to the end of the URL. So in this case, it's the end of the M. We're going to select that single quote mark and we're going to paste in there. And then the only thing we're going to do is uh, this site uses a single quote mark to um, enclose the URL. So at, at the end of the color equals white, we're going to change that double quote to a single quote. And then we're going to uh, select all and copy that code. And in this case, I happen to be using um, Coffee Cup Bootstrap Builder. Um, but it would, the same thing would pretty much apply to any of the responsive uh, web design programs. Um, that coffee cup puts out there. So uh, right now we have a standard video element in here um, and we have the URL. So we're, we're just going to select that. And I'm going to delete that element. And instead I'm going to the content menu. I'm going to drag in an HTML, um, HTML element in and select that, go to the design panel. And I'm going to paste in the code that we, that we had just copied in. And now if we preview this, Um, I'm just gonna. I'm in uh, Firefox Developer Edition, and it has a responsive design mode, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, so you can see the the first thing you'll notice this is the the this is from the code that we just pasted in. There's no uh, title overlay, which is um, in this case is preferable compared to the title overlay here because I already have the title inside the video. So this is with the standard video element, and this one is with um, the code that we just pasted in. And if we if we play this and and go to the end of the video, 
Um, first, you can see the progress bar is white, which is a nice little feature. And at the end, it just plays. The video ends. You don't get that grid of recommended videos. Um, and it has a much cleaner look, in my opinion. For, for most sites, this might be preferable. So hopefully that will be useful. Again, the sites were embedresponsively.com and uh, vtubetools.com. And again, I'll put those URLs down below. All right, hope you found this useful.